When you look at the top 20 single season rushing leaders, you see some names you recognize. Up here, you'll see Hall of Famers like Eric Dickerson, Barry Sanders, Jim Brown, OJ Simpson. Most of these guys on here are Hall of Famers, soon to be Hall of Famers, or icons during their era. However, this isn't true for the guy at number 18, and that guy is DeMarco Murray in 2014. In 2014, DeMarco Murray would rush for 1,845 yards. He would win Offensive Player of the Year, and he led the Cowboys to a 12-4 record. Just in his fourth season, Murray was still looking for big seasons. However, three seasons later, he would call it quits. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rise and fall of DeMarco Murray, or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to entitle this video. During 2007 to 2010, DeMarco Murray went to Oklahoma, and during this time period, OU was a powerhouse for football. Murray was the guy who replaced Adrian Peterson after he left, and when you look at Murray's stats, he wasn't bad, but he wasn't the best running back ever at Oklahoma. Entering the 2011 NFL Draft, DeMarco Murray was drafted in the third round by the Dallas Cowboys. However, it was going to be tough climbing up the depth chart, as this was a crowded running back room that was headlined by established running back Felix Jones. Through the first five weeks of his NFL season, nothing was special, he didn't do anything, but he got the start in week six, and and everything changed. Romo on a delay, hands up. To Murray, to Marco Murray. Going all the way for the touchdown. In his first ever NFL start, DeMarco Murray would make NFL history 253 yards, including a 91 yard touchdown. He would have two more 100-yard games, and he would miss the final three games of the season, and he'd end up with almost 900 yards in his rookie season. That's not a bad rookie season at all. Because of this rookie season, DeMarco Murray was seen as the running back one for the foreseeable future for the Cowboys. However, in his sophomore season, he would miss a few games, and he only rushed for 663 yards. But 2013, his third season, was his first great season in the NFL, over a thousand rushing yards and nine touchdowns. Like I said, this was a great season for Murray, and he was slowly establishing himself as one of the better running backs in the NFL. Now, people expected a jump for Murray in 2014, but nobody saw what was coming next. Ladies and gentlemen, a season for the the ages. An absolutely magical season, 1,845 rushing yards and 13 touchdowns. Those yards place 18th currently on the single season rushing list, and those yards are also the highest in Cowboys history, higher than Emmitt Smith and Tony Dorsett ever did. Murray would win Offensive Player of the Year, and he finished third in MVP voting, and he was a big reason why the Cowboys went 12-4 and, and made the playoffs. The big three of Tony Romo, DeMarco Murray, and Des Bryant were showing flashbacks to the big three back in the 90s. Murray was also ranked as the fourth best player in the NFL in the top 100 of 2015. In the wild card round, the Cowboys were barely able to scrape out a victory against the Lions, which is kind of embarrassing, but a win is a win. But in the divisional round, yeah. In a call that should have very easily been rolled a catch, it was rolled an incompletion and was one of the biggest reasons why the Cowboys lost against the Packers in the divisional round. This was a devastating and heartbreaking loss for all Cowboys fans, but this was also the final game of DeMarco Murray in a Cowboys uniform. Murray was a free agent, and after the Eagles lost LeSean McCoy, they signed DeMarco Murray to a five-year, $40 million deal. This is a lot of money, and any running back in today's game would wish for this kind of money. This Eagles team also just traded their starting quarterback Nick Foles to the Rams for Sam Bradford. So how did his time with the Eagles go? Yeah, that should say enough. This was an historic downfall. Just a little over 700 yards, a full 1,100 yards less than his 2014 season. In fact, in week two against his former team, he rushed for just two yards. 
This was a weird season for everybody involved. Murray even said that he felt like he took a year off. And after just one season in Philadelphia, DeMarco Murray was traded to the Titans. The Titans were coming off a league worst 3-13, but there was some hope as they were being led by second year quarterback Marcus Mariota. DeMarco Murray was also going to be a mentor for second round pick and 2015 Heisman winner Derrick Henry. You might have heard of him. There were mixed opinions and mixed expectations about how he would do in his first year in Tennessee. Would it be a progression? Or would he continue to regress? Well, in his first season in Tennessee, DeMarco Murray had a huge... Well, the Titans kept the same record, but this time around, they were able to sneak in the playoffs as the fifth seed. However, DeMarco Murray would have the worst season of his career, even worse than the weird Eagle season. He would have just 659 rushing yards and six touchdowns, and a 43.3 yards per game was a career low. In that second round draft pick back in 2016, Derrick Henry was looking like the better running back. Back. He had better stats, better upside, and he had a lot of potential, so he looked like the guy going forward for the Titans. With Murray's regression and Derrick Henry looking like the guy, they released him after just two seasons. DeMarco Murray joined NFL Live a few months later, and this is what he had to say. Off the top, what's on your mind, man? Yeah, a little news. I've decided to retire from the game of football today. That's not little, <laughs> man. That's not little. And just like that, the strange career of DeMarco Murray was over. DeMarco Murray had a roller coaster of a career, from downright awful play to having one of the greatest seasons by a running back ever. By the way, midway through editing this, KTO made a video about this. I totally forgot about it, but I mean, I'm just not going to scrap a video midway through. So I guess just go check that out. You probably already have because he's KTO.